America, Tom Hand here in the Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the Battle of Guilford Courthouse. In March 1781, General Nathaniel Greene decided to finally confront Lord Charles Cornwallis' British Army in a pitched battle, and he selected Guilford Courthouse in western North Carolina as the spot. At this point, Greene had 4,000 men under his command, but only 1,300 were Continental soldiers. Meanwhile, Cornwallis' army had dwindled to 1,900 redcoats, but all were seasoned professionals. Greene positioned his troops as Daniel Morgan had done at Cowpens, with two ranks of militia in front and a final line of seasoned Continentals led by Colonels Otho Williams and John Howard. At noon on March 15th, Cornwallis commenced his attack. The two ranks of American militiamen fired a few rounds and then broke for the rear. Cornwallis now threw his men forward at the final Continental line, and the Americans gave as good as they got. With hand-to-hand -hand fighting raging just in front of him, and the contest hanging in the balance, Cornwallis ordered his artillery to fire grape shot point blank into the mass. Although the cannon fire killed as many Brits as Americans, it had its intended effect and broke up the American attack. Green ordered a retreat, but the Brits were in no shape to pursue as they had suffered 500 casualties, one quarter of their entire force. Cornwallis wrote to England that he had achieved a great victory, but as Charles Fox remarked, another such victory would ruin the British Army. Cornwallis now retreated to the port city of Wilmington. His plan to roll up the southern colonies one at a time had utterly failed. Next week, we will discuss Nathaniel Green retaking the South. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.